Hey everyone, this is Kodemic, and this is a tour of the Polaroid J33. Uh, this model was made between between 1961 and 1963. Uh, this model's in decent condition. The one I have, uh, it's kind of dusty in certain areas. The uh, the lens is coated in dust on the inside. You can see, and then the uh, viewfinder is not the greatest either. So. Uh, Taking pictures with this probably wouldn't be the best, but it's still in really good condition body-wise. There's no chips or nicks or anything. Uh, this camera does bellow out a lot like the uh, EE100 Special. It's not as much of a bellow. It's a lot smaller, but uh, definitely really cool. This camera though it does weigh a ton. It is very heavy for a camera. Um, I couldn't imagine actually having to carry this around back in the day along with film and whatever else. You think about it now, your phone weighs probably just about as much as this front part, maybe. It's just incredible at how far technology has come. Uh, looking around the camera, the front, we have a few modes on the front here. Dark and normal, light in, and you can obviously spin the front to, uh, what am I trying to say, your settings there, basically a modern settings menu, um, Polaroid on the front, J33 LAN camera, it's part of the LAN camera family, obviously, viewfinder, a, uh, hand strap, um, the top here, this is your shutter button, it has the number one because that's actually the first step in taking a picture, we'll do Talk about more on that in a second. Um, on the side we have the lock button to uh, open up the back of the camera. Um, not too much on the back, some interesting instructions. You can pause the uh, video if you want to see that more. Um, looking through the viewfinder, again it's kind of dusty in there, kind of hard to see. Then on this side there is really not much to see. It does have the uh, original leather strap that's in really good condition. The camera's not that... I don't know, it's not one of my favorite cameras. It's just kind of bulky looking and the beige is, makes it look really dated, but it is cool. They're not worth too much. I'd say maybe around between 15 and $30. There's... Uh, on my research I was doing, there's one listed on Amazon for uh, $99, but don't expect to get that. <laughs> A uh, really cool thing I noticed, I'd actually never opened this camera before since I got it. Uh, if you pull the lock up and slide the back door open, oh, I didn't even know it did that, actually. There's all this cool writing on the inside. Uh, let me see if I can get my light source here. And there's just all this cool writing. It actually has the uh, serial number in there. Yeah, let me see if I can clear that up for you guys, really hard to see in there, then the serial number, inside the bellows, the back side of water, <laughs> and uh, not too much on this side, but really, really neat at how the uh, camera folds out and all that, very accessible, um, you can actually see the uh, metal rollers where it would spit out the film or you could tear it out. You'd, yeah, you'd actually tear it out of this camera, really similar to the uh, uh, EE100 with the pack film. Okay, I'm putting my light back down there. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. My main lamp actually broke, so that's not too much fun. The second roller there, and then I thought this was especially cool. Polaroid LAN camera. Polaroid Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and then there's some other warnings and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool camera. Uh, some more condition issues inside the actual camera is there's actually some body rust going on around the hinges, and I imagine that just where some chemicals got spilt on, and just over the years it hasn't held up too well. You can see at the bottom there, there's some rust issues too, but... Overall, it's a really neat camera. Once you open it up, there's a lot of history inside, and uh, I'm sure this took some really good pictures back in the day, but again, film for this isn't the easiest to find, and uh, I wouldn't really trust the lens since it's so dusty to take as high-quality photos anymore. 
Right, this has been Codemic with a quick tour of the Polaroid J33. I hope you like the tour. Um, I noticed my subscriber account or account has gone up just a little bit, and I appreciate the new people checking out my content. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon.